it's just so shocking that when you just ride into a place and something like that just happens. Speaking on News Nation's Cuomo, family of the victims spoke out. Shocked, the four friends who drove from the Carolinas to Mexico for a tummy tuck actually wound up in the middle of a shootout by rival drug gangs. Even though my niece Latavia and my my nephew Shahi and the other two, they ain't went there to harm nobody. Did you no? Know, she went over there for a medical reason. Right. I'm pretty sure if she know what you no know, the way it was, she would, they would have never went there. The white minivan with North Carolina plates was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The driver's side window shot out, the doors wide open. Two of the Americans were killed, two others dramatically kidnapped, loaded onto the back of a pickup truck. They were immediately whisked away by the drug cartel. A massive manhunt ensued, and they were found by police guarded at gunpoint in a rural shack. Two U.S. citizens were returned to the United States. The bodies of two other U.S. citizens killed in the same incident were also recovered. The two survivors, one of them injured, along with the deceased, were immediately escorted by Mexican security vehicles to the border near Brownsville, Texas. Today, Senator Lindsey Graham turning up the heat on the killer cartels. I just entered this legislation to make drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations and to authorize the use of military force to take down this network if necessary. The State Department has put out a warning for Americans who travel to Mexico saying violent crime is common. Federal officials say they will work with Mexican authorities to bring the killers to justice. John Muller, PIX11 News.